We promise you we'd be done at eight ish, and it's a few minutes before eight. And um, I didn't know that Attorney General Janet Mills was coming, but Attorney General Mills was actually involved in um, getting an important little factor in, included in the Trans-Pacific Partnership. And I wanted to just give her a minute or two to talk to you about the tobacco carve out in the um, Trans-Pacific Partnership. Thank you, Cynthia. I was pleased to work with a number of attorneys general. Two years ago, 48 attorneys general, we got together and wrote a letter to the uh, trade ambassador, Mr. Froman. We didn't get an answer. A month or two later, we got an answer from somebody else. It was the National Association of Manufacturers. We thought that was odd that they got our letter, but the trade ambassador did not. In any event, we resent the letter six months later, and then we sent another letter last year. Finally, when he, saw, he finally figured out that things were catching on, he said, oh, oh, we better meet with you guys. So we met with the trade ambassador, another attorney general and myself, and we had co conference calls with him three times, and he finally felt the pressure and said, okay, I'll do a carve out for tobacco, because we're involved in, uh, in enforcing the master settlement, uh, a tobacco settlement agreement, and that's very important to our state. But we also explained to him that there are other health and safety, environmental concerns, and labor concerns that are equally important to all of us. And please, don't just carve out tobacco try to carve out the ISDS because that's the, that's the thing that, we, that concerns us the most. And Cynthia has explained that to you a bit. Uh, Sharon Treat has, has explained that to you. And I'm so proud to be working with the Citizens Trade Policy Commission. Uh, those reports that they have done, this, this state is way ahead of the curve on analyzing trade treaties in every respect of them. And uh, it's been given me and other AGs a great uh, basis, a foundation for working forward. I just want to ask one, make one, question because maybe I wasn't hearing all the speeches and thank you Representative Pingree, Congressman, Congressman Woman Pingree, Congressman uh, Poliquin, I guess I didn't hear one thing and I, maybe I missed it. Did you say you were going to vote against the Trans-Pacific <laughs> Pact or not? I, I wasn't sure. I voted against TPA. Right, that. I'm studying the TPP. You're, you have not yet committed to vote against the <clears throat> TPP. There's been no vote call. We are pouring through this document. You have not committed to vote against it. We are I just I want to make sure I didn't lose something. Thank you very much. I just want to clarify that. Will you please let us know when you decide to vote against We're in it. Constant <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much.